what's up guys welcome to the day two of 15 days of open cv for beginners in python i am chandu and i am super excited to be an instructor of this course so in this one we are going to talk about how can you read write and show images using open cv this is the fundamental things for open cv in python so without any further delay so let's get started check those top cool and awesome projects on my youtube channel so you can get the link from the description or you can check on my youtube playlist so all right so now i'm going to click here and create a new python file let's say dad2.py okay so our empty python file is created so now it's time to actually import the cb2 so let's say import the cb2 so this cb2 is nothing but called the open cb library and in day one we install this library on our local machines if you missed out so please check it out link will be in the description okay so now we need to read the images from a directory so this is our images you can see here spiderman.jpg so you can actually load the images from our directory so for that you're going to use the cb2.imbit that's mean imbit method to read the images from our specific directory so let's say cb2.imbit okay and it will take if i hover over here and you can see it, it, it is one functions and it will take the file names and the flags okay so we need to put here the uh, file name first so that is called the spider man dot jpg and the another argument is called the flags okay so you can put here flags one or zero or minus one so what are the flags zero one or minus one so let's go on the presentations so you can see here we are using the cb2.imbit for reading the images okay and it will take one argument that's called the flag so this is the integer value so if i give here one that's mean we are reading one color images you can see here cb2.imbit underscore color and in the description you can see here load a color image so if I assign here zero, that's mean this is nothing but called grayscale image. So loads image in grayscale mode. And you can see here cb2 dot imbit underscore grayscale. And if I put here minus one, that's mean this is unchanged. Loads image including the all path channels. So this is the basic things for flag in argument of imbit. So join our Discord quality server for a knowledge doctor. You can directly message me on Discord if you are getting some error on your code or you are not getting my point on video or you are facing some problem while you are making the projects. So you can directly message me on my Discord. And also you can join our Discord community server so that you can discuss your problems on this server. So okay, if I give here one, that means this is nothing but color image. So let's try to print it out. Okay, let's say uh, we need to put assign it onto one variable. So let's say image and you can print this one. So let's see, save and run the code here and see the output. Okay, so we got one array. Okay, okay, one kind of array that is nothing but the matrix. Okay, so the image is nothing but one kind of matrix. It's nothing but a multi-dimensional array. Okay. Okay. So our, we are successfully read our image from our directory. So if I give here, let's say this kind of name, it's not actually on our directory. So let's see what will be the output of this code. Okay. So we get the output as none. That's mean if I give here the wrong path of the images, it's actually definitely give me the null below okay no error it will give me okay so let's put here the spiderman dot jpg so now it's time to actually show the images okay so let's say cb2 dot i am sure to read the images if i hover over here and you can see it, this is one of the functions and take the window name and the mat the mat is nothing but our these images so let's say give here one window name it's up to you what kind of window name you can give here it's on the string format so let's say image okay and comma and you need to specify here your image name okay save it and run the code here okay you can see here for the milliseconds this pop-up window will appear and it will gone so now what you have to do we need to actually give here white key 
cb2 dot void key so this is nothing but the binding function from the keyboard okay so if i hover over here it will take one delay that's mean how, how many seconds you are want to actually delay give the delay and the your image pop-up will be appear here okay so let's say uh, um, let's say 7000 that's been seven seconds it will white and after that we are going to destroy the all windows okay you can also use the destroy windows for specific window okay so you can destroy all the windows from here so save it and run the code as the output and you can see here this is the nothing but the image of spider-man and seven second later it will disappear okay and you can see here after seven seconds it will disappear you can also play on that so let's say put here the two that's been two seconds later it will disappear the images okay so if i give here zero and run the code and see the output it is not disappear the images if i click here and it will disappear that's mean this is nothing but a zero for the infinite time and you can actually wait for the cross signs that's why it's called the keyboard binding functions okay and i'm going to click it to close that okay so our image read is done our image show is also done so now it's time to actually save the images okay you can see spiderman.jpg and now we also see that we are going to change this flag one so let's say flag as zero and save and then run the code and see the output this image is converted into grayscale mode okay and you can see here the zero means this image is load in grayscale mode okay so if i give here minus one that means this is unchangeable save the code and run here and you can see here this is unchangeable okay i click it to close that okay so now we can actually save the images in our directory okay so for that what we are going to actually use that we are going to use the one method that's called i am right okay so let's say cb2 dot i am right okay if i hover over here and you can see here i am right it will take one file names and the image it's called the params we don't need that we need to put here the file names what are the file names of your files okay so let's say this is nothing but call let's say we are going to convert this image into grayscale so we are going to say that flex equal to zero and you're going to specify here let's say gray spiderman dot let's say png you can put here the format of your images jpg or png and you to specify here your image this was called the image let's save it and run the code okay and you can see here one images is appear here when i close here you can see one file is generated click here and you can see one file is generated here okay this is the images and this image is saved here in gray scale mode okay and if i give here let's say minus one and let's say uh let's pattern man let's say one and save and run the code and see another picture is appear here close that and you can see here this is nothing but this picture this is nothing but the grid you can also remove these lines here okay that's mean our code is working fine so this is a tutorial hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and i'll be back in a day number three till then take care and bye bye